Finally tonight, a symbol and icon of American strength during World War II, honoring the Rosies, America Strong. True American heroes celebrated today on Capitol Hill. More than two dozen women, known as Rosie the Riveters, collectively awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor, the highest civilian award. These are the invisible warriors. They work 12 and 14 hour days, six days a week. More than six million strong. The American women working in the 1940s during World War II to support the war effort here at home. The Rosies made up 65% of the workforce, building everything from war planes and battleships to assault boats. They were housewives. They were mothers turned war heroes. Many working as welders, this Rosie using an electric riveter on the exterior of an aircraft. Others in this image inside the fuselage, wearing protective aprons and scarves tied over their hair. Up until 1941, it was a man's world. They didn't know how capable us women were, did they? <laughs> Sylvia Tannis joined the effort in December of 1942. I put the de-icer on the uh, B-25 fins. I also was a repair person, but my main thing for work was to get my three brothers home. 98-year-old Seal McDonald from Brunswick, Georgia, worked in construction for three years during the war. Built one ship a week. I was a welder. The women who embraced that iconic slogan, we can do it, today beaming with pride for what they did for their country. We wanted to win the war and we helped win the war. Absolutely, and we're all forever grateful. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.